Hi, this is Scott. Welcome back to another Hollinger Team video blog. This this blog is for the question that I get uh, off and on from people that haven't been here in most cases that um, say, well, what do you guys do there? What you know, what what is there to do? Just don't know what they would do if they either came here to visit or moved here. So um, we came across a, a great little organization called the Flathead Trails Association which is a, a grouping of a whole bunch of other organizations that are involved in activities here in the area. Their website's linked to the Flathead Trails Association uh, website. So it's, um, it's quite interesting to dig into that, uh, that website and look around at all the things that they offer. And I thought I'd just highlight some of the things that some of the organizations and what they offer out there as far as information goes. And it starts out Maybe, well, up around Glacier Park is obvious. So there's the North Fork Trails, um, which is a group that uh, helps uh, with people that are and, and associates with people that are interested in the North Fork area and the trails and what's offered there. And then the Glacier Park one that is involved uh, along, you know, with the glacier on both sides of the Continental Divide and in and around and all the things that uh, activities that uh, people can partake of in Glacier Park. We're slipping into winter here, so then we can talk about the, the Nordic trail maps. So people that want to go cross country skiing, we have a good selection of um, Nordic trails around here that are groomed for people that want to cross country ski. And then along with that, then there's the, uh, the Snowmobile Association that has all of the uh, areas to go snowmobiling and enjoying uh, uh, the outdoors and the scenery from uh, snowmobiling. There's also uh, back to hiking and things like that. The Bob, Mar Bob Marshall Wilderness, which is a you know, really big draw uh, for people that want to hike and, and pa pack overnight and things like that. And uh, kind of along with that then is the Horseback Riding uh, Association and their uh, Backcountry Horsemen's Association and the, what they offer as far as help and advice and uh, links to people that want to be involved in horseback riding and maybe even packing back into the mountains. Uh, then there are uh, bike trails. We've got a lot of bike trails around now. And so a good, um, good variety of that for people who want to get out and ride bikes on trails. Uh, and then there's also, which are mainly, you know, the paved trails around uh, following the highways and streets and neighborhoods and things like that. Well, there's some good mountain biking facilities and trails around there too. So good information from those organizations. Then for people who want to boat, there's a lake and river access website that helps with people who want to do some exploring on the water, whether it's canoeing or rafting or kayaking or uh, it'll even help you out if you want a place to launch a boat to go fishing. So um, a lot of good stuff there. The forest fire lookouts are available for rent. So that's one of those things that uh, people think is kind of fun is go spend a night or two in a forest fire lookout just to see what it's like to be up off the ground with a great view. And then the last one I want to include is that there's a, a, a whole battery of websites through uh, one of the websites that um, has a whole battery of webcams. And if you want to, if you're not in the area and you want to look around and see what's going on, uh, you can see what the weather's like right now. We've got some fog going out here, but if you go to the Big Mountains website, uh, it's clear and sunny up there because of the inversion that we have. Anyhow, we've got some links for you to look at and hope you enjoy it. Pass it on to your friends. Please subscribe to this uh, webcast and uh, if you have questions or comments, we always appreciate it. Thanks for viewing another Hollinger Team video blog.